Well, if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn it to Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. And that song, actually, they just sang, actually deals a little bit with what I'm going to be talking about here tonight. But uh, this doesn't get any easier <laughs> doing this. Um, I'm, I'm thankful to God for the many opportunities that I've had to preach. And you would think that I, I would like to say I've preached several times now, a lot, not just here, but uh, kind of in, in college too and the different churches I've interned at and it never gets easier. <laughs> but God always gives the strength just to uh, get you through it. And so I just always encourage people to follow God's will for your life. If he can use someone like me uh, to do public speaking, whatever you want to call this, the foolishness of preaching, then definitely he can use you. So uh, just follow God's will and you'll have absolutely no regrets in your life and it will lead to nothing but joy. Well, Romans chapter number 8 is where we're going to be, uh, and what a wonderful message that was this morning from Pastor, wasn't it? That was a really strong challenge, and uh, uh, stole a little bit of mine, Pastor, <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit, yeah, <laughs> same notes. Our wives wrote us the same message, apparently, <laughs> uh, but we're kind of dealing with the same thing along the same lines. You might hear me bring up a little bit what he talked about this morning, but uh, I don't think that's coincidence. I think God has a purpose in what he's trying to say. And he always does. And so I'm thankful for the opportunity just to be used of God here at this time. So let's go and read Romans chapter number 8. If you have your Bibles there, say amen. amen. All right. If you're awake, say amen. amen. All right. Here we go. Romans chapter number 8. Let's look at verse number 18. I'll read the one verse. I'll pray. And then we'll get into what I believe God has for us here tonight. Romans chapter number 8, verse 18. And it says this. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed. 